Hey, oh wow, it's been a really long time since I've been active on this channel. What am I doing here today? We all know how tough a new project is to get started. You're all excited. You've got all these great ideas. You've got all the song going through your head. You know exactly how you want it to sound. You go into your studio or your space, whatever you've got. You plug everything in. Just get started and you start to feel all overwhelmed and all of the great ideas that you just had go out the window. Writing a, a whole song is a really difficult task, especially when you haven't been doing it a long time or you're out of practice. So starting a new project can be a really, really insurmountable task. So how's about we make it easier on ourselves? The most important part of writing a song is the melody. Without the melody, we don't have the catchy earworms, the catchy bits that we want to sing in the shower. So I thought that I'd set myself a little goal, something that's achievable, that isn't overwhelming, that will give you a solid base to work on later. But the most important thing is that it'll make you feel like you've achieved something. It'll give you a sense of accomplishment rather than dread. And because motivation during this period for me has been at an all time low, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to write a melody every day for the next week or so. You'll be my witness and hopefully help me keep on track. Maybe even start your own melody challenge along the way. Before I kick it off with melody number one, I just want to really say thank you to all of you for staying with me for hitting that subscribe button and for those who actually reached out to me to find out, am I ever coming back? <laughs> Thank you guys. It really means a lot. Helped me come back. <laughs> so, all right, that's enough talk. That's enough of all of that. Let's get started on melody number one. Now, this isn't going to be a complete walkthrough of how to write a melody or how to use Ableton. I know I used to use Reaper, but I've been slowly teaching myself how to use Ableton as a challenge throughout the last year. But I'll talk a little bit about my choices. So I chose a scale to give myself some clear boundaries, no chord progressions or anything like that. I started with just a scale. I chose G minor because I really like G minor. So this little melody is going to be very consonant. I tried to start with the A section first. One lesson I always try to remember with writing melodies is that repetition is key, but don't keep going back to the root note. So repetition can be in terms of the rhythm or it can be melodic repetition. So here I decided to repeat the melodic arpeggio fragment and repeat these little rhythmic fragments at the end of the phrase. I should say that before I got started on writing this melody, I had been thinking about writing a melody for a while. And when you start thinking about writing something, you start singing things, walking around while you're in the shower or in the kitchen cooking, you're just thinking about different melodies. Maybe you start listening to different music and you start picking out their melodies and starting to understand how the melodies are constructed. So that's why I was able to sit down and just start working on this melody right now. So now I was pretty happy with the A section. I kept telling myself, okay, if it sounds okay to me, then don't discount the idea. Just move on. Because right now it's about getting a melody. Later, if I harmonize it and pull it into a full track, I can move things around, chop things up, choose different instruments, etc. etc. So I moved on to the B section. Here I felt I needed to move away from the descending arpeggio and introduce some newer ideas. So I moved to being around the D or the fifth note and worked from there. 
And when I'd finished the B section, I should have gone straight back to the A section, but it didn't sound right yet. And I had an idea for another section, so I started on the C section, the third section. Here I decided to stay around the C or the fourth note in the scale and I felt like a rhythmic shift was needed and I could hear a melody in my mind so I went with it. Once I was done I started second guessing myself and I thought the order wasn't right and so I started to play around with the order of the melody before I realized there is no right at this early stage it's just melodic fragments so I stuck with that structure. And here are the three parts with that A part again at the end. Have a listen. Okay, so that's melody number one. What did you think? Let me know in the comments what you guys thought and what style you think it should be. What, what does it make you think about when you're listening to it? Maybe you hear it as a rock song, as an instrumental ballad, or maybe you hear that it really should have some lyrics and have a singer sing it. Give it a like if you liked the melody or even a thumbs down if it didn't gel with you. And as always, thank you so much for subscribing. Hit that bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow with melody number two. See ya.